Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about another weapon that is great for early game in Elden Ring. This is Patch's Spear, which is a plus seven weapon which you can get on pretty early on. How to do so, you have to go to Murkwater Cave, which is just a short distance to the right from the starting point of the game. When you get there, you will be invaded by a bloody finger. He will come over from the left, and he is a little bit tricky. He does heal himself, but eventually a hunter does spawn and help fight him. But you don't necessarily need him. He's really not that strong of an enemy, but he can be a little tricky. When you get into the cave, there's a lost gray site, so run up to that and touch it and save, just to be on the safe side. Then you'll follow through, you'll go down this tunnel, and you will run into some enemies. They are pretty easy, they're not very strong at all, and they're just little bandits pretty much. But you can pretty much annihilate them and without taking much damage at all. From there, there is a route that you go straight ahead and you can get open this chest, it gives you a mushroom. But then when you turn around, you go to the route on the left here, and then you run down here and there's a wall of mist that you can walk into. Then you go straight ahead and there is a chest and you try and open this. Once you open it, you get a couple items of clothing, but then you'll hear a familiar voice if you're a Dark Souls fan. Patches will spot jump down from a cliff and then you'll have to fight him. You can fight him halfway. You'll see he'll, after you get him down to half health, he'll plead that you don't kill him. And that will allow you to let him live and you can eventually buy sh you know items from him. But what I recommend doing is just finishing him off because after you do so, you get a couple items, one being his bell bearing and then also his spear plus seven and his armor as well as a golden ruin. That bell bearing, however, will allow you to go to the round table hold and take it to one of the merchants and you can pretty much buy everything that patches would sell there. This weapon's pretty great. It has no, you know, passive effects, but it does have an impaling thrust move that you can use and it pretty much breaks through any shielded uh, enemy and inflicts a lot of damage. It's attribute scaling is, is by strength and dexterity. Its strength is an E and its dexterity is a C, which isn't great, but for, you know, early game, this is a very strong weapon, especially being a plus seven. You can see the attributes for the attack power and guarded damage negation and the attack power with the right armament as well. But it's great for early game battles and the early bosses that are around Limgrave that you do come upon. As you can see here, fighting this Lancer Knight that has the very strong shield, you can do a lot of damage with that impaling thrust move. Also, the regular attack moves do break through it as well as the strong attack. Um, you'll see here in the footage that it does very strong amount of damage for against these. But also, I am a little bit higher. My strength is at and dexterity are both at 16. So take that into effect as well. I put in some footage of both, you know, ground combat as well as mounted combat so you can see and then after this fight there is a some footage of fighting one of those giants really just how much damage that it does against those giants that are pulling the cart that has the chest on it um, with that i'm gonna let the footage go uh, i hope everyone enjoyed this video let me know in the comments your your thoughts on it and if you think this is a great weapon or if there's other weapons that are even better for early game and i will see you guys on the next one peace